This is Kevin Peterson with Changing Aging, and I'm here talking to Chris Perna, the CEO of Eden Alternative, and we're at the Leading Age Conference, and Chris, I know you're here uh, in partnership with a couple other organizations. Uh, we're here with WellAware Systems, and it's never too late. Those two organizations are what we call Eden Alternative Value Added Partners. What we're trying to do with our Eden Registered Homes is offer them some additional value for being part of the Eden family. And what we've done is aligned ourselves with organizations that we think offer goods or services and can really enhance the quality of life for the elders living in those organizations and for the staff working in those organizations. Yeah. And WellAware and IN2L are both great examples of that. What is WellAware Systems and then how does it work exactly? Sure. So WellAware Systems is actually a, a passive, non-invasive technology that does not cause the elder to actually have to wear anything. Okay, but so can, no yeah, plugs, no, plugs, no self-reporting. That will actually go underneath a mattress pad, and by doing so, we can actually capture a person's heart rate, breathing rate, and restlessness in bed. We take this raw data and this information, and we translate it into a user interface that the caregiver or care partner would look at each day. When you don't achieve that quality sleep, your body's immune system is lowered, you're more at risk for falling, you're more at risk for onset of emergent health conditions because you're, it's restorative. Your body's never allowed to restore itself. Yeah, and I think one of the problems is in a lot of care environments, nursing home environments, it's general practice to be interrupting people in their sleep, making sure you're meeting all the procedures and all the checklists. So this is a really important key of how you guys can help alleviate some of that. It is, and it's you know there was an intent versus impact. The intent was to make sure that folks were safe, but the impact was you're actually breaking a person's sleep pattern every two hours, never allowing their body to fully restore them. Now there's actually a tool that's uh, a lot, you know there's a tool that they can use that allows them to get the same level of information without causing breaking a person's sleep. Yeah. I'm here with Jack York. Uh, it's never too late. He's uh, at a leading age conference here in conjunction with the Eden Alternative and Well Aware Systems um, to kind of present how technology fits into the whole continuum of care, mind, body, and spirit. And our, our mission and our passion from day one was just to try and look at ways that technology could benefit older adults with physical and, and cognitive disabilities. We, we put an interface on top of a Windows 7 computer and just load it with content that's relevant for older adults. So you can touch music, television, and films and work your way to jukeboxes and karaoke and old music and, and old movies. Can I try it? I'm Absolutely. Sure. But each person can also have their own unique experience. So for example, let's say Lois can touch her Lois can touch her picture and there's you know, there's a picture of her granddaughter. So she touches that oops, touches that picture. Okay, I'm sing Ready? Go. And this woman, this particular woman has Parkinson's, is very isolated. She'll drag you across the room to have you watch her her granddaughter's dancing. So Again, it's all, I think the whole tie-in with Eden has just been such a good fit because you're trying to keep people connected, keeping them engaged in a way that doesn't make them feel foolish or not be able to be a part of it. We've put together an Eden-specific experience. So we've got our systems in about 40 different Eden communities around the country, and each one of them has this Eden icon. When you touch it, it opens up to different pieces of content that are tied to the Eden alternative. So in the mind, spirit, body, you guys are the mind? Yeah, we, we, are, we, are, we are the mind and we and we got some body things, but we're keeping yeah. up with, uh, and, and again, we just try to, to be honest, the whole, the company, we're all about just trying to keep up with whatever Bill Thomas is doing next, and if we do that well, then we'll be successful, so. All right, thanks so all right. much, Jack. Thanks, Kevin, all right. It's always good to talk okay, to you. Okay, yeah, good job. Um, we would have real difficulty within the Eden principles in a situation where technology is replacing human touch, that it's in lieu of human touch. Uh, that's not what it's all about. So what we're talking about here are two technology partners actually with the technology enhances the human touch. And again, it engages the elder. They're getting the medical assistance they need, but it's in the context of a very interactive, personalized experience. Yeah.